Velvet! You're really all right. Oh, thank heavens! It's so good to see you! Where have you been all this time? You never even wrote! But... I don't... I... I thought the whole village was wiped out that day. Yeah... It nearly was. But just when we thought it was all over, Arthur, Lord Artorius saved us! No! It was his doing in the first place! He sacrificed Lapisette! <sighs> it really was a shame what happened to that poor boy. That's all you have to say? A shame? My brother Loppy died I'm that- I'm sorry. Truly, I am. But you can't lose hope, dear. He's right. What counts is that your brother's still alive. <laughs> He's... alive? He's... in your house. Don't worry, we've all pitched in to take care of him. I don't... Velvet. <sighs> Luffy... Luffy's alive? What's wrong? Well, that didn't break it. Next time you suspect an illusory art, test out your theory on yourself. You think we're all seeing an illusion? It's possible. It wouldn't be the first time. But an entire village? That shouldn't be possible. Shouldn't be, no. How do we approach this? Try to break it apart at the seams somehow? No. For now, we and our enemies share the same goal. Come on, help me look for the Therian. Sure. I... think I'll stick with Velvet. I won't stop you. Keep a close eye on her. I don't think she's entirely right in the head at the moment. Yeah. My home... it hasn't changed a bit. We need to be careful, Velvet. Aizen thinks this could be a trap. You think Nico and everyone are being controlled? I don't know. It's just... You think it could be Melchior's doing. But even so... It's not going to work on me. You're insane. People can fight against pain, but... I won't... Be deceived by this. You'll open your wound! <gasps> You're warm! Luffy! You're really alive! Luffy? He's been asleep. Ever since that day. I found him at the shrine, collapsed on the ground. His wounds healed, but he's never woken up. If he's still alive, that's all that matters. I'll find a way to wake you again, Luffy. I swear I will. We'll be together. I still have to thank you for this comb, after all. So, that's where Velvet's comb came from. Did Lord Artorius really try to sacrifice such a defenseless child? What's wrong, Lafayette? You don't look like your usual perky self. I'm... I'm okay. I'm just glad Velvet's alright. What? Your name is Lafayette too? <laughs> what a weird coincidence! Uh, yeah. Hey, sorry about all that, you guys. Don't worry about it. What are we going to do now? If it were me, 
I'd make Laffy set something he really likes for dinner tonight. He can handle soup. Maybe he'll notice the smell of your cooking and it'll wake him up. Yeah, maybe I should. Would you watch after him while I go buy what I need? Of course. I am at your beck and call. Is there anything I can do to help too? Yes, please. I'll need you to be my taste tester. I wonder if they've located the Therian. Let's just leave that to them. You're not curious? Of course I am. But for right now, I want to stay close to Velvet. I've got a really bad feeling about this. Something more important than finding the Therian? Yeah. My stomach is twisted, and I've got a chill up my spine. I'm really scared. Very well. I trust your feelings. We'll leave the Therian to Rokuro and Aizen, and stay with Velvet then. Thanks, Eleanor. Magilu, what will you do? Whatever I feel like. <sighs> I shouldn't have asked. Thanks anyway, Magilu. Are you sure you're doing the right thing? In the end, whatever happens, happens. Wiser words never spoken, right? Hey, could I get some eggs, milk, spinach, and tomatoes? And I'd love to know what cheese you'd recommend, too. You got it. And in celebration of your homecoming, I won't even charge. With you cooking up a feast like that, I'm sure Laffy Set will wake up straight away. Thanks. I really appreciate it. You're getting spinach? I can't really handle it myself. You'll never grow up strong if you don't eat your spinach, young lady. I've done just fine without it so far, thank you. <laughs> oh, if you insist, I'll leave it out just this once. Wow, Velvet, you must be special. Not many folks get to be friends with an exorcist. She's, She's not, not my, my friend! friend. <laughs> the way you two bicker, I find that hard to believe. Oh yeah, do you have any prickle bore? Oh, I'm sorry to say that I'm out at the moment. That's fine. I'll hunt some up myself in the tranquil woods. Just like old times. Actually, there haven't been any prickle bores there lately. You should try the Morgana Woods instead. Okay, I'll do that. Thanks for the tip. Velvet! It's been forever! Great to see you! You haven't changed a whit! What do you mean by that? <laughs> uh, have you seen Nico yet? I have. She's as full of life as she always was, right? Come to think of it, nothing's really changed much, has it? I suppose not. By the way, how are Orthy and Russ doing? Those pups haven't changed a whit either. They saw a guy with a big sword walking with a dour-eyed fellow in black. They freaked out and hightailed it. That would be Rokuro and Aizen. Those dogs are as cowardly as always. So, what part of Velvet hasn't changed a whit? Hmm. She doesn't have any makeup on? Uh-huh. I'm extra good at beating up the weak guys! They were nothing. Okay, this should be enough. Mm. Huh? What's wrong? Nothing. I just feel a little sorry for them is all. I hear you. These prickle boars might have all been family. People can be so heartless. Yeah, I'd forgotten this feeling. But what can you do? At the end of the day, we have to eat just as much as they do. Yes, what can you do in this situation indeed? Heard the news about your brother. I'm happy for you. So, what's your plan now? You guys are snooping around the village. Yeah, we wanted to check out that shrine too, but we got stopped. Apparently, the Abbey's designated it off-limits. If there's a Therian around, it's probably there. I'm going to draw it out. If this is a trap, things may turn violent. Either way, this place is about to get a lot less tranquil. <sighs> the same as everywhere else I've been. You can quit here if you like, but I'm going to keep on fighting the Abbey. And if I try to stop you, you'll insist, I presume. Velvet, no! <laughs> I'll give you one day. Once you've made up your mind, come meet me at the Cape. I'm with him. How tomorrow shakes out depends on what you decide, Velvet. Your hand. It's. 
As you can see, I'm a demon. Three years ago, I was the one who attacked this village and- I don't want to hear it! Demon, or no demon, you're still you! Okay, so, you're scary! I'll get used to it. I promise, I'll keep it a secret. Let's just live here in the village like we used to, okay? You, me, and everyone else. Nico. That was rather good, Velvet. Yeah. Luffy said gets a gold star for being such a good taste tester, too. Tomorrow, I'll fix you up a nice stew. Hey, is this... It's the original copy of the book on Enominot. And all the pages are here. Velvet. Hey, Fee. Can I borrow your compass real quick? I'll give it right back. Please? Uh, all right. He really wanted a compass more than anything else. Just like you, he loved to stare out at the sea. Wondering what's on the other side. He wanted to go adventuring someday. Oh, I didn't know that. I bet once he wakes up, you two will be really good friends. So, this is what your life used to be like before everything happened, huh? What's gotten into you? Hmm, maybe I made the pudding a little too sweet. <sighs> Velvet, how do you know what it tastes like? <sighs> I think I'll get myself some shut-eye. But what are you going to do about tomorrow? Mogilu, are there arts that let the caster manipulate dreams? Huh? Dreams? Why? There is, yes, an art that requires a certain type of Moloch. It envelops you in a fog and reads your regrets, then traps you in a happy dream. An art that reads your regrets and shows you happiness. I'm going to the Cape. Now? What on earth's gotten into you? Velvet... <gasps> Velvet! Don't... go... stay here... stay with me... <sighs> this is Fee's compass. I'm sorry, Luffy. No, don't! Wait! Velvet, wait! Don't... don't leave me here! <laughs> Velvet! There you are. Velvet, you have to stop your friends. They keep saying they're going to the Cape, and they just won't listen. The Abbey's forbidden anyone from going inside. We'll all be punished if anyone breaks the rules. I hate to say it, Nico, but I think I'm a terrible person. I really thought I could have my old life back again, and I could forget everything else. I tried to act like I was doing it for Luffy, 
that it was all for myself. But I can't forget. I shouldn't forget. Luffy is dead. He was murdered without even knowing why. I will never forgive that! Ever! So get out of my way! If you don't, I'll devour you again! Velvet... Why? WHY MUST YOU DO THIS?! There we go! The truth at last! Out of my way! <laughs> Don't color me surprised. I didn't think you'd actually tough it out. What are you talking about? Focus on the monster, sweetie pie. This way! The shrine's through these woods! Hey, mind telling me what the hell's going on? It's a trap. Trap, trap, trap. Our enemy spun an illusion based on Velvet's dreams. That's a nasty little art. But Velvet saw through it all? She did. But even if it's all a dream, such brutality on her part. Eh, Velvet's always been our brutal poodle. But to shake off the dream by herself, now that's something. The boundary between dreams and reality is demarcated solely by one's own heart. What? I'm saying she's wowie zowie cool beans. Come on, we gotta hurry. Sorry, pups. You're coming with me. Velvet! It's okay. I killed their owner. I deserve all their hate. And then some. But not now. Understand? Once I get my revenge, you can tear me apart if you like. I promise. Until then, I'll need your help. Guess the art finally evaporated. The book! It disappeared! What book? I found a copy of the ancient book with every page still intact. It was in Velvet's house. Artorias's book! The real one might still be there. We should go back to Velvet's house to search for it. That was one hell of an illusion. I have to admire the skill that went into its construction. The caster probably has a tethered Moloch with a unique power on the same level as my Reaper's Curse. I can think of one person who would lay such a wicked trap. Still, we may have a new clue to the nature of Innominat. You found Innominat's book, right, Lafayset? Yeah, in Velvet's house. Then let's hurry to Velvet's house. It's empty. No surprise there. Artorias is too thorough to overlook something like that. If only I'd showed it to you as soon as I found it. 
Don't beat yourself up over it. We wouldn't have been able to read it without Grimoire anyhow. It was just a dream. All of it. Those are the graves of my sister and her son. He died before he was even born. They're in rough shape. We should lay some flowers. Don't bother. There's no point. A keen insight. Eating one would be cruel enough, but plucking an innocent flower just to offer it as decoration for some memorial. That's not even a sacrifice, just a cruelty devoid of all purpose. Melchior! As obtuse as ever. I take it you're the one behind the dream fog? I must say, you did well to break free. Such resolve. If you weren't a Therian, I'd be tempted to take you under my wing. Did you come here to flatter me? Indeed. Although I was already in the neighborhood to retrieve this book. I'll be taking that. This book was compiled by my dear friend, who was also Artorius's mentor and predecessor as head of the Exorcists. It contains the hopes and dreams left by a noble soul, who gave his life for the world that grieved him. It is not for a tainted demon to touch. Like we need your permission! <laughs> Look who obeyed me for once. Is that... you didn't! Be patient. You'll know everything before long. What we seek is the realization of a perfect order, as tranquil and beautiful as a wildflower in bloom. A perfect order? Let's go. There's nothing left for us here. doing there? Wait, that's one of Arthur's. Actually, it's a copy that Lafayette made. Lafayette made a copy of the book. He transcribed it all by hand, and then he sold it, just to buy me that comb. There was something here for us after all. If that's the complete manuscript, we might be able to unravel Inominat's secrets. We'll have to show it to Grimoire. <laughs> Pulling one over on the old man, are you? Never a dull moment with Lady Calamity around. Eleanor, there's something I have to ask. What is it? Did you leak our plans to the Abbey? Eleanor hasn't done anything like that. Then how do you explain Melchior and his illusions already waiting for us when we got to a ball? I promised you that I would work together with you until I found the truth for myself. I'm not up to any tricks. It's far too late for that now. Exactly what a guilty party would say. If anyone's suspicious here, I'd say it's you, Magilu. No tricks! <laughs> I don't even know what a trick is. <sighs> Enough. If Eleanor was leaking information, then Titania would surely be under attack by now. Right. I'm sure the Abbey would love to have those Therians back. But the enemy was in that village waiting in ambush. The Abbey isn't foolish. They figured out by now that we're rounding up the Therians. They'll have left traps for us with each remaining one. It's the obvious move. All right. If that's how you see it, I'll stand down. So you trust me then? No. I'm saying that anything the Abbey tries, I'll be ready for it. <sighs> oh, such a brave, determined soul. Listen, Eleanor really isn't spying on us. I was with her almost every minute, and when I wasn't, Velvet was watching her. 
And she's a woman who keeps her promises. She wouldn't lie to... Lafayette. We understand, Lafayette. It's Eleanor. If she were lying to herself to somehow keep spying on us, the guilt would fill her with malevolence. I see. You're right. The fact that I haven't turned into a dragon proves that. Thank you. Both of you. I didn't think you were giving them information intentionally. But there are illusionists like Melchior out there. That means we can't rule out someone recording your thoughts in secret. I don't think we need to worry about that either. Not with you and Lafisset always near. <sighs> now that that's settled, it's time for you all to testify to my innocence. That could be difficult. What? Well, okay. Why don't you start off by telling us all about the time you sold us out to Teresa back in Helleviz? Oh! Why bring up that old yam? You're a very vindictive man, do you know that? You're just figuring that out? <laughs> well, there's your proof, at least. You wouldn't make much of a spy. <laughs> she really wouldn't. Hey, that's not what I meant! You were mean! <laughs> wow, the weather's just swell. It's something I've said every day for three months now. Huh? But wasn't there just a heavy fog? Nope. Never seen a wisp of fog in this village. It's been sunny so long, I think I might dry up. That means that fog was just another of Melchior's illusions. Seems that way. 